Recently, I was in the East Midlands Airport Aerodrome and I was looking at the Navy version of this. Um, this is the Army version. And one of the most notable differences, the Navy version has wheels, but the Army version has a skid. And someone was asking me in the comments recently, why is that? Why does one have wheels, one have a skid? Well, it's basically like this. When you think about the Navy version, it's going to be taking off and landing on the deck of a ship, whether that's an aircraft carrier or whether that's the back end of a destroyer, it essentially takes off and lands on the ship. And in order to move it around easily on the ship, if the thing's on wheels, it's a lot easier to push around and stick back in the hangar and all that kind of stuff. Whereas the Army version, this has to be prepared to land pretty much anywhere. So that could be rough grass, it could be a marshland, it could be near woods, it could be on you know, rough open ground. And by having a skid, then you're spreading out the weight of the helicopter, but you're also giving it a more stable platform to land on in its, when it's landing in those kinds of environments. But on top of that, the other advantage of a skid is the fact that a skid has very low maintenance. I mean, it's essentially a metal bar sticking on the side of the aircraft, whereas a wheel system has hydraulics and it has pneumatics and it has even has electronics because the lights are on the wheels, I think. Um, so it's a much more complex system, whereas having a skid on the side just makes life a whole lot easier in terms of maintenance. And to be fair, these things are quite a lot of work to keep in the air, so anything that keeps it easier is always good. <laughs> 